Let us show you how the Omnipod controls work. On the home page, the current water temperature will be displayed. Below that, controls to switch the hot tub on or off, as well as the water temperature set point adjustment slider will be displayed. The on off switch controls the main power to the filter and circulation pump, as well as the heater. Switching this on will place the hot tub in operational mode and the controller will aim to get the water temperature to the set point as selected with the slider. Filter only mode can be activated by switching the on off switch to the on position and sliding the temperature selected to zero. The heater will be kept off and water will be circulated through the filtration system. Both the normal operating mode as well as the filter only mode will run for a maximum time as set in the settings page. The schedule page is used to schedule events. The user can schedule a time at which the hot tub should switch on automatically and heat to a specific temperature. Alternatively, filter only events can also be scheduled for daily or weekly automatic water filtration. Let's use an example. Under the add new schedule item, I would like to create a filter schedule. I will choose all days of the week. Set it for nine o'clock. Now under the settings page, you will see you can set the amount of time that each of these programs run for. In this case, the default would be 30 minutes for a filter program. And the temperature would be filter only. Now my new schedule is set. It is important to set the correct date and time in the settings page. The set date and time is used for scheduling. Incorrect date and time settings will cause incorrect scheduling behavior. The settings page also contains the maximum runtime adjustments for heating and filter only modes. This can be adjusted under the set device details area. Remember that the set device details parameters also helps you conserve energy and gas once you've used the hot tub and might have forgotten to switch it off. The Amipod controller can be configured to connect to the user's home Wi-Fi network. This will enable the user to access the Amipod app from the home network. Fill the home Wi-Fi's details in the SSID and password fields and press the set Wi-Fi button. The controller will connect to the given Wi-Fi if the details are correct and the Wi-Fi is reachable by the controller. If the user would like to revert back to the default mode where the Amipod controller creates its own Wi-Fi access point, the back to AP mode button can be pressed at any time. The About page displays the firmware version and provides a button that can be used to update the controller. This should only be used by advanced users or trained technicians. Additional contact information is also displayed.